Tehra, all things are born. Order cannot exist without chaos. Once I was her hand of chaos in the three realms. In time, my hand reached too far. When the kings united against me, Terra banished me to this isle. And yet, I was not alone. There, my life began anew. After Vivian was born, we spent the most peaceful days of our lives on that isle. Together, we were whole. But one day, I searched the isle for my light, only to find her taken from me, extinguished by the bank of the river. A piece of me is lost forever. My journey begins again. What they have forgotten, I will make them remember. I will have my vengeance. I am Scylla, goddess of chaos. Have they forgotten that everything has a consequence? This is David here, Epic Games Marketplace Publisher and Art Director for Pirate Co. I'm here to tell you a little bit about the art from Scylla. I certainly hope you guys enjoyed the trailer. I hope you enjoyed the art. We believe our art style is quite unique. The goal with the graphics of Scylla is to take poly art to a whole new level. Somewhat related to the popular low poly art style, Scylla takes that artistic medium to an incredible new level. At Pirate Co., we endearingly call it pure poly art. We really rely on geometry to drive our visuals and details while keeping shader costs low. Unreal's dynamic lighting capabilities, combined with our art style for Scylla, truly allows us to make scenes that look like art. We believe this will translate to a truly unique experience for players. Just about everything you see in Scylla makes use of geometry, even fog and clouds. We try to keep textures to a bare minimum. When it comes to creating the world of Scylla, the way we design assets to build the world allows us to create incredible visuals as efficiently as possible. Creating assets that can have multiple uses without time and resources spent on shading and texturing. We've had a very positive reaction to our art style, and we think this will give our players a very dynamic and solid visual experience when exploring the world of Scylla. Now about our characters, we wanted them to have that solid feel as well. Our main character Scylla makes use of our style completely, down to even the strands of her hair. 
Many of the enemy characters that players will face on their journey, a lot of them being very elemental, makes use of mostly static mesh applied through blueprint and parented to an underlying skeleton, allowing us to assemble and disassemble them in real time, making them a very fun experience for players. This also allows us to make many different combinations of the same enemy. Everything visually in Scylla centers around our beautiful celebration of the polygon. We like polys and we like them where everyone can see them. Unreal Engine has certainly given us the power to manage large, detailed, and awe-inspiring worlds in this style. When we saw the announcement for Unreal Engine 5, we were very excited and have been pushing the visuals for Scylla even further to take advantage of it. UE5 will truly give us the ability to take this art style to its ultimate level. I hope you guys enjoyed the build, even despite it being a representation of just our aim at visuals and the feel of combat, as our quest and story system is not ready for the build just yet. We hope you like the trailer and it gives you a window into how Scylla will tell its many stories. We intend to make great use of sequences throughout the game, as we believe Scylla certainly deserves a cinematic telling along with great gameplay. I want to thank you so much for considering our application for the Unreal Mega Grant. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to look at what Scylla has to offer, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. My name is Helen, and I'm a writer for Scylla. What I like about Scylla is Scylla herself is such a complex character. She's so powerful, but she's also fallible. And as the player, you get to go on this journey with her, and you're constantly discovering more of who she is. The thing I like most about the game so far would probably be its uh, unique approach to the art style. Uh, the the high poly, low texture art style is definitely a nice aesthetic. The very first thing that drew me to Scylla as a project that I wanted to take on was the amount of choice left in the player's hands, both in terms of storytelling and preferred gameplay style. As I learned of what the people here had already developed, and as I worked with them to develop new additions to the project, I just became ever more excited to see all the interesting ways that players would interact with the world and mechanics we were crafting for them. Hi, my name is Iyad and I do the concept art for Scylla. Uh, for me, uh, my motivation coming from the fact that uh, I could witness the game, uh, the development of the game from its humble beginning and uh, seeing what everyone has achieved is truly admirable uh, and I really believe that we are heading for greater things in the future. The main reason I wanted to work in this project was because the whole game felt so passionate and that working with the team would be such a great experience. I'm Josh, I'm one of the writers on Scylla. What motivates me most about the project is just how deep within Celtic mythology we've gone into. I'm really enjoying just reading a lot about all these old books and all these old mythoses that a lot of people just don't seem to have that much interest in or haven't really had the awareness of. And I think a game like Scylla is really important because it will bring more awareness and more motivation for people to come and actually see what is interesting about Celtic mythology and all these old, old stories. Staying motivated to work on Scylla is easy. Uh, as a developer, I'm always a step away from writing, uh, art, and even the voiceover. Uh, so after I finish my portion and I get to see everything come together, it's really exciting. I can't wait to see the end product and uh, share that passion with everyone. The reason I love Scylla so far is the art team. I love their direction and their unified sense of vision. The Pirate Co. team are some of the most professional, driven, and creative people I've had the pleasure of working with, period. And it really shows in what we've been able to do so far with Scylla. It's safe to say that Scylla is one of those IPs that is going to stand out on its own. And that's something that simultaneously intimidates me and fills me with a lot of pride. To be part of something like this is truly an honor for me. Hi, I'm Shahan, Game Director of Scylla and Founder of Pirate Co. I'm so excited to finally tell you about Scylla and show you what we've been working on. The name Scylla comes from the Greek phrase between Scylla and Charybdis, or more commonly, between a rock and a hard place a phrase about tough choices. 
Scylla is a game of choices, a game in which the aim is to make every action have a reaction. Throughout the course of the game, you'll make hundreds of choices, big or small, and these choices are going to change how Scylla looks, plays, and how she's perceived in the world. As you play Scylla, there are three major categories in which choices can be made. Narrative, combat, and exploration. We believe that a good story is one with a simple objective and complex characters. Scylla is a very complex character, and although the objective of the game is to simply find out what happened to her daughter, your journey in solving that mystery will see Scylla totally transformed by the end. Throughout the game, you'll find many clues about her daughter. However, many of the clues will contradict each other, and so it's up to you to determine what's true. Scylla takes place in an ancient Celtic mythological world where all the landmasses are giant floating islands. There are three kingdoms to explore, and each of them are on their own floating island. The mortal kingdom is lush and green. The celestial kingdom is alien looking, with giant mushrooms and tons of bioluminescence. And the underworld is dark and barren. As Scylla makes her way through these lands, she'll take a moment to make camp and plot out her next adventure on a massive world map. And on your journey, you'll come across various quests, side quests, and puzzles that all have multiple conclusions to offer based on how you choose to solve them. Like every other aspect of the game, the combat is designed around fluidity, immersion, and seamless decision-making. We didn't want any sort of intrusive UI to display her inventory, health, or mana. Instead, her inventory consists solely of health potions that you can see directly on her character model, her health is shown through cracks in her skin that get deeper and glow brighter as her health gets lower, and lastly, we completely replace the traditional mana resource with a much more visually engaging resource that we simply call orbs. Scylla has three different weapons that she can use at any time. A bow, a shield, and a pair of daggers. As you fight enemies, you'll generate orbs depending on the type of weapon that you're using. Orbs will physically appear around Scylla so that you can easily tell which kinds of orbs you have available. When you have enough orbs, you can spend them to cast a huge variety of spells depending on the types of orbs that you had. You'll always be able to cast a spell no matter which combination of orbs you have. This sets the learning curve to a comfortable level that's easy to learn but hard to master. Throughout the game, using certain weapons, casting certain spells, and choosing to fight certain enemies are all choices that everyone will make uniquely to their own liking. Each of Scylla's choices in the previously mentioned categories grants her influence points on one of the three kingdoms. When you make choices, you gain and lose these influence points. Much like a personality quiz, these points are plotted in a Cartesian coordinate system, and the position of your coordinates are what we refer to as affinity. For example, if you constantly make choices that grant you influence points towards the Celestial Kingdom, you will gain a Celestial Affinity. As you move deeper into a certain affinity, you'll start to see Scylla's appearance change. Every part of Scylla's body is seamlessly swapped out, one by one, as she gradually transforms over the course of the game. There is absolutely no collecting or crafting armor in Scylla. Instead, your choices automatically change Scylla to reflect your actions. Through your journey in Scylla, you'll make various choices within the narrative, during combat, and while exploring. These choices are added together to create an affinity. Your affinity will determine how Scylla looks and feels, which kingdoms are friendly or hostile to you, and which of the five endings you'll have. All of this happens seamlessly, without the player feeling like they're making these important decisions. Altogether, the rich lore, complicated characters, fluid gameplay, authentic Celtic-inspired soundtracks, and a stunning landscape to explore makes for a world worth adventuring in. In Scylla, a player that turns left at a fork in the road could have a totally different experience versus a player that turned right. We're extremely excited to see the different experiences that players share with us and each other once the game is complete. Just like in real life, the different decisions we make on a daily basis, no matter how small, can make a huge difference on not only ourselves, but even those around us. We at Pirate Co. hope that applying for this mega grant is one of the many impactful decisions that we made when we tell our story in the years to come. 
Thank you so much for considering us. We hope that you enjoyed the showcase and we can't wait to share more progress with you as we continue to develop Scylla.